Good morning, fellow listeners. Today is the 29th day, which is a Sunday of this month of September 2024. My name is Capo Daniel. I am the chairman of the People's Right Advocative Platform, PRAP. The Cameroon government have officially demanded the Norway government to extradite Ayabacho Lucas to face charges in Cameroon military tribunal. I repeat again, the Cameroon foreign ministry have seek for the extradition of Ayabacho Lucas to face charges for human rights violation carried out by the ADF in Ground Zero following the charges put against Ayabacho by the Norwegian prosecutor. This information we gathered from the Norwegian broadcaster NRK following an interview granted to them by Jean Patrice Nkwa Jr., who is the spokesperson of the Cameroon Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs. The interview apparently was as a result of the former application for extradition order to the Norwegian government by the Cameroon government. This interview raised question. The interviewer of this network raised the following question about the integrity of the judicial system in Cameroon, which have been criticized by human rights organizations for being corrupt and insufficient. There are wide concerns of fairness if any trial of Ayabacho would take place in Cameroon. Observers and human rights organizations in Norway have points to the notorious reputation of Cameroon military tribunal and well-documented lack of due process in political sensitive cases as an objection for no way not to extradite Ayabacho Lucas to face prosecution for these crimes in Cameroon. Based on this interview, we can also ascertain that the Norwegian police unit, Kripus, which is involved in this case, have substantial evidence against Ayabacho Lucas. It also shows that majority of the evidence are primarily from the Ayabacho's social media activity and the publication of ACN, which is the egg of C TV or social media channel. Based on the question line from the NRK shows that the investigators in Norway have carried out investigation and submitted various claims by Ayabacho through his social media posts and the social media posts of the ACN claiming multiple responsibility for the attack conducted by the ADF in Ground Zero and in particularly to the cases that have been cited in the court documents. The question was raised that it is not necessary for the Norwegian prosecutor to require any further evidence from the Cameroon government given especially the controversial judicial history of the Cameroon state. So this Ladies and gentlemen, we can also deduce that the dogs of war in Cameroon, Silai Law Firm, which have put out documents to claim that they are trying to assist the Norwegian police to gather evidence, are all false and are all part of the continual manipulation of the regime, providing them with false data to falsely claim credit for the attack or arrest of Ambazonians out of Cameroon, even when it does not relate to their effort. So those information put out by Konda Titles, Salai Law Firm, and those that were given to journalists, Cameroon officials that the Salai Law Firm was involved in this case are all false. Based on this, we can, sure, we can be sure that the Norwegian government and the police department do not need, have not requested, and have rejected Cameroon offer to help and provide substantiation or evidence against Ayabacho Lucas. The investigation was done entirely by the unit called Grappos. It's a police unit in Norway. They are independent and the Norwegian judiciary is 100% independent and we are confident in their work and that justice will be done in this case for the victims of these crimes that have been quoted and the many more that are not yet included. Some critics in Norway have also criticized this arrest that it is part of an effort to bring down accountability to separatist leaders amid a conflict 
without focusing on the side of the Cameroon government, such allegations have been rejected by the Norwegian police and says that these arrests have nothing to do with politics or trying to help Cameroon government. It is important for us to inform our public and educate them that Ayabacho Lucas was not arrested because he is fighting for Ambazonia freedom. Ayabacho Lucas was not arrested because he killed the Cameroon army. Ayabacho Lucas was not arrested because he was attacking the government of Cameroon. Ayabacho was at arrested and prosecuted and is being prosecuted, was charged in court for carrying out crimes against humanity, specifically against our civilian and against francophones generally. In this publication, we are going to put the video evidence that we believe are part of those evidence that the Grupo's police, unit police, would have stumbled upon to substantiate what we know concerning those cases that have been cited. For public education, it is important for people to know that when a war is going on, I give example like the war in Iraq, whether the war was legal or not, soldiers who committed war crime or individuals who committed war crime were prosecuted, including American soldiers in Abu Ghraib prison. When there is an official war that is recognized, even though during a war, people are allowed to kill other people, but those should be combatant. Army can kill Amber. Amber can kill Army. Those are all contexts of war. But it is illegal to kill people like a war crime, summary execution, to e kill innocent people based on false premises with the sole idea of sowing terror. Those are wrong. Ayabacho is being prosecuted, is sent to court because of the instigation of crime against humanity, which he did so on the 23 of June, where he directed people to attack francophones. We are going to play the video. He's also been charged because he publicly executed two innocent people in Gozang, a charge that nobody have refused that he committed. Absolutely nobody. These were institutionalized crime which their spokesperson, Lucas Asu, claimed that it was done following their rules, following their institutional safeguard, and it was carried out by them. So it should be clear to our people what is going on here. The news agency in Norway, in their discussion with the Cameroon ministry spokesperson, were very critical and they asserted the fact that the public jubilation in state-controlled media, CRTV, which have already labeled Ayabacho as a terrorist, undermine any hope for a fair trial that could be conducted in Cameroon if Ayabacho is extradited. If Ayabacho is extradited, he will be tried under Cameroon controversial 2014 anti-terrorism law. Ayabacho could face the death penalty for his involvement in separatist activity other than the crime in which he is being charged in Norway, and there is no way Norway, the Norwegian government will extradite somebody who could possibly face death penalty. That death penalty alone in Cameroon makes it impossible for Ayabacho to be extradited in Cameroon. So we are sure the application for extradition of Ayabacho will be rejected because the Norwegian judges who consider extradition must compare the Norwegian system and the Cameroon system to see where Ayabacho will face justice. It is important that justice is done where the people that suffered from those crimes live, especially in Cameroon. That is a good point. But the biggest issue will be the comparison of the two legal system. In stark contrast to Cameroon, Norway's legal system is built on strict guidelines designed to uphold fair and impartial trials. Having abolished the death penalty in 1979, Norway is committed to international human rights convention that protects the due process. Many observers conclude that Norway courts are unlikely to approve Ayabacho extradition without substantial guarantees regarding his safety and the integrity of the legal proceedings in Cameroon. As for the road ahead, people should understand that the legal proceeding unfolding in Norway will not only determine Ayabacho's immediate fate, but could also uncover broader network and funding sources that has been fueling the ADF 
providing them with many guns that people did not imagine that Ambazonia could have. While the Cameroon government is pressing for extradition, the complexity surrounding international human rights and the questionable integrity of the Cameroon court suggest that this case will have a lot of scrutiny from the international community, especially that Ayabacho Lucas is a German citizen, even though he originates from Cameroon. Framing this legal battle in terms of us in the media as well, and those of us pushing Ambazonia diplomacy, framing this battle is very critical as this will internationalize our cause in the coming month. This case will determine a lot of things. If convicted, Ayabacho's organization will officially be involved in crimes against humanity that will directly open the door for further prosecution of other members, including donors, during the tenure where these crimes were committed. Enough evidence in social media have already provided substantiation to those members who continue to support Ayabacho despite these crimes being committed, and they will definitely be cooperable based on their affiliation and their support for Ayabachu when such crimes against humanity were conducted in their name with their support. They are all partners in crime. They are all cooperable to the crime that Ayabachu have committed. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to provide with you video evidence that we believe are going to be part of this prosecution. These are all video that are linked to those cases that have been cited within the court case in germany in uh, in norway so watch them i will be giving some commentary as a video please the first one will be the attack against the bameleke the francophones who are in bamenda when ayabacho as a leader of the egg of sea launched the campaign for frog must go that is locally called frog must go which was an instigation and incitement of violence against francophone that led to the death of 10 people that were rounded up in Bamenda in three main quarters. They were rounded up in Nacho, Abengo, and Tala, and they were publicly executed and their body dumped on the streets in Bamenda. Watch the video and listen to Cho Lucas Ayaba as he declared this incitement that have led him to where he is in prison. As you people can hear, Ayabacho know for sure that what he was doing is very bad. It is a dark place as he said it, but he decided to go into that dark place to call for the killing of Francophones in the campaign of Frog Must Go, which incited the genocide, the war crimes, crimes against humanity, with the subsequent killing of 10 people in Nacho Street. Listen. For Hela Bunamegunna know the facts. The Francophone where they be kidnapping. Na it two boyfriend the way they be being an ADF so that way na teenager them. They be there for that house. Totally then seven. Then kidnap that girl, life a family say na kidnapping when an arrangement. Na so they can discover play then day. Then key, move that girl key the six people where they be there for the house when I use them. Crime by the Cameroon government itself. But the things say they be being a black leg na lie. We be done share that intelligence even with the egg of C. They still yet go ahead for key people them in the names of the one go revenge and have francophone them. So I want me to know the facts behind what happened before Ayabacho is where he is today.
So, when I hear for Ayabachu a mob, he talks say na he then sign executive order. If a man we you don't know, he means the order where they need for execute them. He talks say because na Cameroon government and key were people them, me will go key their own people. He talks say he need to talk like ADF commander, he did give instruction for all Ambazonian forces them. So, when they catch person, because they the key we make them kill them, no release. He go even go after. That means it even talks, it will come after you when you release some person, when you catch him. And I order that way the game, not be only for ADF, but for all Ambazonian fighter them. So now here, how I about to take him before they commit the crime where it happened for inside Nacho, for inside Abango, and for inside uh, Tase, for Bamenda. So there is no doubt for which way I have a children commit them, do one a war crime. You cannot justify war crime. Even if they commit war crime on you, you know go justify you, me you go commit war crime. So this one now be only a I have a show. Now the whole institution and people the way they be the follow you and where they be the support you. Because when you be the do this thing, they be the hear, they be the see them, and yet they be still the support you. They are all partners in that crime. When we try to call on the mid and stop them, they go talk to a weaver bird them. Today, weaver bird they go sing for a year for place where they when I continue for here. So for Ayabacho, Cameroon need to respect international law. So he then decides he no go respect international law. No be only he. We mean say he and a group and people already really follow he and where really they support he. They then decided they're not going to follow international law. There is no justification to do that. It is wrong, it is stupid, it is immoral. Only evil people can do that. Even if Cameroon is one, you don't get the right to do them. As they talk, Arata die nai mop. Arata die nai weti mop. Now, make a take on a for which way happen after Ayabacho signed this executive order. Me then go target the francophone the way he claim. Say na then key the six youths them where they be there for inside the meta quarter day where two of them na ADF soldier them. Make a take on enough for which way in saw. Because of the platform, I know go fish here, very bad images, but I will show now what it happened. As he make the announcement and the order, the next day, ADF, them, then go for inside, but men that go key 10 people them. Now the publication, then this for news will be go on during that time. When I will remember one of the famous people, they will be die with and die for the day. Only two Francophone and Buddha people them. I specify, say, go take Buddha. Now just married, newly married couple, where they can't, where they can't for Bamenda that day, they can't key them. Move them for the house, can drag and key them because I'm francophone them. So when I see, make a place on video them. I think uh, Archbishop Andrew Kia, it come for this. Several investigations that will be done, especially the one for Musa Wilson, when uh, an investigative journalist for Ground Zero, they also produce investigative report about this crime. We happen where be incited and ordered by Ayabacho and the egg of C and ADF. Died. And when there is death, there is nothing like this now. Because all of us are mourning. We are weeping. Uh, within these past days, this last week, we lost six children in this quarter. And now again, we have lost 10 people within this same quarter. And that is why I came out of my house to come here to this place where it happened a couple of hours ago, so that we pay our last respects to the people who are here. It's a very painful moment for all of us. And when the moment is hard and hot like this, we come out to bring consolation to the people. We come out to pray for the dead and uh, to show that good will always triumph over evil. Evil can never defeat good, no matter how long it takes. So human life is sacred. And uh, we all call on everyone, whoever they are, let us respect human life. Life is given to us by day. We all see the water today where people are bloody for that. You cannot see on top bloody. You talk 70. 
my brother and sister them na some bad day for we because it never make plenty hour we about 10 people they lost their life for this place where we turn up and as we turn up so we turn up now on top of them blood blood is supposed to be now for human vein not before ground now because of that one way i come out i come here for come see myself which way it happened my knowledge done for my quarter here at the year something i don't know what it happen and number two for come console my quarter people then for tell them say ask share for this kind of thing where they happen for we so and number three for talk say this play will turn up so it don't be like saying uh na, na, na the theater for kill people and when they talk say make them stop them it's not correct so when i run here do one a crime number one when i run see evidence exhibit b for this our platform now i go take one for the next crime with inside them for the when are the killing of public execution for two people for inside goes on but before that make i just give on a small video for the pain we were people that don't go through for for our virtual hand where i don't get the highest call we were people that talk to me something happened for you make them do something for you where you can impose the change of color for taxi for bamenda i will just sample on a small then i will take on a back for the case without much ado of the change of taxi colors I'm not going to reverse the decision. Uh, let me be, be absolutely clear. I will not reverse the decision. So I want to remind you that the pain where I have a children cost and for we. Over nine taxi drivers that be killed, property for taxi, there 14 taxis that be burnt, no taxi never change the color. So that one will be fight for freedom for Ambazonia. Now we do come this way, three ADF they will be catch by population, picking the way they don't go food and say me they can't collect tax. Population cash and go hang on for B. When we do want talk, they, they try to cover up, they, they talk fishy, we they talk na politics. No, we they talk na about our real human life, real pain where people they, they go through, sort for injury where this man is not for our people. Now I'm going to leave them, go back for the case. Because I want to show you see how Grand Zero Line reject Ayabacho. Mr. Manofi say he did represent we Anglophones, we West Cameroonians or Ambazonians. No, he need to represent we non extremists when he be the asset for the Republic. Now he don't cost our population for 10 against this struggle. Give us so much pain with some people that they even regret why this struggle if it even start. But now I'm going to go back for the case for Gozang where they execute two people where they don't put the Ayabacho for the prison for place where they and the dominant effect it will come back for all man where be the support during the commission of this crime because you know do them in a name you do them as an institution gather all man for them for they put them together make we go for the case as you all know yesterday the Ambazonia defense forces following the established Ambazonian court of law and court of justice carried out summary execution publicly of two Cameroon spies. So the one now, Mumu Lucas Asu, speaking as a spokesman on behalf of the organization, talks to them carry out summary execution. Summary execution for person where you don't know, it means you kill some person just based on accusation. Nobody say you actually investigate. When I hear the crime we commit them, nobody as an individual, now as a group. So I'm going to listen for the crime and then I will tell now what did it happen. Carried out summary execution publicly of two Cameroon spies. They were arrested about a month ago. They've been subjected through thorough investigation. Evidence recovered through their audio communication with the B commanders, the instructions being given, and the information they sent to the B commander, including text messages and money. So we all know saying a lie that there is no evidence that, that people they work with Rene or they work for La Republic because I be investigated. I even approached Ayamba on Ayamba. I give you all the intelligence. Me go ask you about you. What are that people them? No be innocent people because the ground zero they be explain and say that two people then they begin a problem with a woman where they said chop for inside goes on where that woman uh, get a friend for one of the ADF soldiers for if and he come. 
Now, say they take and kill that people, then they don't ever arrest them. So they get enough evidence for investigate with enough proof for them, but then choose for execute the person summarily because from intelligence from ADF Ground Zero Group, I have to be the demand to me they make sample with black leg them. So now because of that, we then go key innocent people for simply show an example. When I look at when I see observe them how the man they deny say they never commit crime. Look the other one way wear glasses for his head, carry hand back. Does he look like somebody where they don't keep it for camp for one month for investigate them? No. The man they deny because he no say never commit no crime and he tally with the investigation way human rights watch he make him before he calls him and prosecute those who then be responsible for these crimes against humanity. So there is no excuse for the egg of C and Ayabacho, neither have they refused the allegations that have been made. Nobody have done so because Ayabacho don't commit crimes against humanity, against Ambazonia and our people then today they celebrate because not justice for the victims of a crime. The evidence will be provided for public space be too much, but I'll just show on some small strong head how we even when they confront Ayabacho for try to stop the ex excesses them, the extremism the way they bring up, it is refuse. Even for Beng way they don't block road just because they want to collect money for petrol the gear for you for no way they it denies nice say wrong that Beng Road need exist. So maybe when I see and say now as they talk Arata die na a mob. When I listen. It would mean that with the road blocks, with the block it. They can do these things, including exactly. but not limited to taking their corpses. So how can you say it doesn't inflict pains on the population? Is there a road there? Is there a road there? Is there a road there? Now five months, Dr. Yabacho, uh, since you made a vehicular circulation between Bengui and Bamenda almost impossible. You have publicly taken responsibility for what could appropriately be described as a blockade. What is it you are trying to accomplish with that blockade? The blockade stays in place, and I will not discuss what we are trying to accomplish. So even when they confront Ayabacho with the excesses, them extremism, the way boy they did them against our own people, them he did deny blast all man. Say no, we even talk about them. So you work none of who for yourself and La Republic at Tanganyika, because not only the money that would be on the chop and the ground zero would be seen. So maybe we na take our own eye, we na see, we na hear, we na own a face. They fly away, they follow cops, they no go end for grave. We na need to take things seriously. We na see an idea. Mister Mano talks here about show people they need to celebrate them. Why do you, Ayabacho, and your Alabukan based ADF boys, decide that to block the road, going to Mbengi, and making things unnecessarily difficult for a meta man? Where did we go wrong so long as this struggle is concerned? Is that how we are going to fight our enemy by blocking the road and circulation of people and their properties within two towns? Where did we get wrong? When I hear Hadaman the ask question, he say, is this how we are going to fight our enemy? For sure, na say a patriot, na man we you know like La Republic, but I have go blast all man. So he fight na for who? So me then show ye, me then show ye people for place where he did. Ego All right. I'm saying this because uh, the feedback I got from home largely talk of pain that the your fighters um, said to be liberating people are instead inflicting on the population. It is possible. Do you think uh, people can simply just openly blame La Republic to Cameroon for the pain they are feeling? Because there are consequences. So now here, it even talks about people that don't even get right for complaint. There will be consequences. Now the type of rhetoric that way they make a boy for ground zero, they defeat say if man even report man complain, they will kill that person. Or they come now for this Ayabacho. Now they curse wicked man this way, it then devastate this struggle. It is possible. Do you think uh, people can simply just openly blame La Republic to Cameroon for the pain they are feeling? Because there are consequences. This is the next question. When people are in tears, they have loved ones to go and bury in Bengui. Your boys will ask them a hundred thousand before the vehicle that is carrying the cops to pass. And other people go into the bushes with on, on bikes. It is terrible, Ayabacho. We can't continue in this style. It is unacceptable. 
including exactly. but not limited to taking their corpses. So how can you say it doesn't inflict pains on the population? Is there a road there? 